Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for January 21st, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, well, this box is almost full, so let's just fill what it needs. Uh, it needs a 378. The seven C's in, that's all I see. So seven points here. So seven's in one of these two, so that points to the right. These can't be seven. Or there'd be nowhere to put seven in this box. That's called pointing. These point. You can kind of see the sevens lining up. They're going to point at the rest of the row. This seven also looks in. So seven's in one of these three. The important bit is these can't be seven anymore. Um, I just noticed this two looking down, putting a two in one of these two. So let's mark that. Um, okay, let's go back to the top before we forget. Uh, we do have two twos looking in here. This two looks up. So two's in one of these two. And then nines are looking in as well. This nine looks up, so nine's one of these two. Seven looks in. Seven's in three places. That's not good. All right, anything with this. Threes. So this three looks up. This three looks in. So three is limited to one of these two. That's a crossing on this nine seven. That's how I found that. I looked at this nine seven where it's two givens sharing a row. Because they share a row and it's two givens, there's going to be one column they don't occupy and two rows they don't occupy. So we want to find duplicates. So we, in this case, it's the three. We looked at the seven and the three. We found a duplicate three there. We, we ignore the seven anyway because seven's already in the box. But the duplicate three is looked in, and that gave us these pointing threes that point left. This three looks left. So there's a three in here somewhere, one of these three. We could also find crossings on this 7 too, except there's nothing up here to cross with. Um, okay. Just checking if there's anything else obvious going on with this pattern here. Okay, uh, let's do this band. Now, okay, we do have two sixes. This six looks down, this six looks in. So we can place the six in this box. That's going to be very helpful. This box is empty otherwise. Um, Sixes don't do anything vertically. Okay, I need a one, four, and nine in this row. Is that helpful? Okay, I'm noticing nine isn't... Oh, wow, yeah, nine can be placed. Look at that. So we need a nine in this row. This nine sees here, this nine sees here, and this nine sees here. So there's only one place for nine in the row. It's right there. It's very useful to take these givens and try to scan uh, the rows they don't touch. It, it, it's often fruitful. Uh, we also need a four and a one in this row. Um, I'm not seeing anything nice with that though. In general, this row needs one, three, four, eight. I think that's worth marking. In fact, eight is in, it's in two places, but one, three, four, eight. So this is not the three or the eight. This is not the one, and this is not the eight. Okay. Uh, anything else we can do? One, five, and two up here. Um, no, okay, I'm going to move on. So we have two fives looking into here. Uh, I wish we had a five looking down, but we don't. There's a five, one of those two. Um, I'm looking for crossings on these patterns here, but I don't see anything. This nine looks down and this nine looks in, but it's not enough. Um, these two ones look down. This one looks in, so one's in one of these two. Let me just double check that I caught everything here. I need a one and a six in this row, somewhere over here. Um, it's not here. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So I was going to say I missed this three, but I did not. The three's right there. All right. Anything else vertically here? The fours. The fours look up, so fours in one of these three. This is getting a little confusing with the corner marks, but it's all right. Um, nothing vertically here. Oh, the nines, actually. The nines look down. Nothing else vertically here. How about over here? We have sixes are done. One, eight, nines. Nines look in. And this nine looks in. So we can place a nine in this box. Trying to see if that does anything else. Nothing obvious. All right. Um, is there a crossing on this 6-9 now? It would be the 4 only. 
it's not. Okay. So I think I'm done with my normal scanning at this point. So we're going to look for restricted cells. Um, I wanted to look at this cell because this cell is not any of these corner marks. Um, so it's not one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's only from seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's not even nine because of this nine here. So only seven, eight. Um, maybe that makes me want to look at this whole column. Let's just think about it. So we need two, three, seven, eight, nine. Well, this one's not three, seven, or nine. So this is not, this is two, not three, four, five, six, seven. So it's two, two, eight only. Um, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Uh, this one's not seven, nine. So this is two, three, eight. This one's not two. So it's three, seven, eight, nine. And this could be anything. Okay. Um, let's look at this row now. So we need one, two, four, and eight. This one's not a two or an eight. So one or four only. This one's not one. So this, or this isn't, this isn't one or a two. Or eight. Oh, this is this is this a negative four? So it sees one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's a naked four. That gives us the one. That gives us this one. This is a two or an eight, giving us a two eight pair in the box. So the remaining cells in the box are three, six, seven, nine. I'm not super excited about that, so let's let's not worry about that right now. Um, what did I just get? I got this one and this one. I got this four. Does this four do anything useful? I remembered I was looking for fours, but I needed a four here or here, not not this four, unfortunately. Um, I wanted a crossing on these fours or on the six nine. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking this column might be helpful. So we need three, four, six, eight. That's quite limited. This one's not four, six. This one's not six. Yeah, this sees the three, four, and eight. So that's a naked six. That's not a six. Um, hmm. Three digits left in this box. We need a two, four, and nine. Well, four is not here, and nine's not here. So the four is in one of these two. Don't think that does much right now. Um, the nine's pointing up. Have I? Yeah, I've done everything I can with that. Um, I looked at this earlier. Have I gotten anything since then? I don't think so. Not Nothing that sees it. 2, 8, and 2, 3, 8 is suspicious. This can't be 8. Oh, if this can't be 8, what can it be? It can't be 1. Could be 2. Oops. 2, 3. Can't be 4, 5, 6. Could be 7 or 9. Darn. It's a lot. Oh, it can't be 2 because of the 2, 8 pair, actually. So it's down to 3, 7, 9. Hmm. These aren't 7. Is that helpful? Um, they can't be one. They could be two, three, four, five, <laughs> eight. This one's not three or eight. I don't think that's helpful. Okay, where else can I look? How about this box? Because we have the two here and the five here. What else do we need? We need a three. She can't go there because of this three. Um, and we need a seven, which can go anywhere. Okay, unfortunate. We do get this three seven and this three five seven. Um, no, not quite. Hmm. These can't be three. Hmm. This puzzle's been interesting. Like, we had this <laughs> almost full box, but 
didn't seem to help all that much. Okay, I need to rescan some of the things I've gotten because I feel like I probably just didn't follow up properly on some of them. Like the six looking into this box. Look at that. The six looks down and the six looks in. So there's a six right here. These two sixes look up. This six looks in. So six is one of these two. Very busy corner marks here. What am I missing in terms of corner marks? So two, three, four. I'm missing fives. Five can be an in. Oh, five. But fives do look up. You know what? I think that's a hidden triple. It's really hard to see. But we've got the fours in these three, we've got the fives in these three, and we've got the sixes in these two. So this can't be two or three. This is this is a four, five, six hidden triple. We have four, five, six here, and four, five, six here. So this is this is a four, five, six hidden triple. It's the only place for four, five, six in the box. We have only three cells for it, so that's where they go. We don't need any of these corner marks anymore. That places the two in this box, because it could only have been in these two, so now it's only here. And that places the three in the box. That's not a three, so threes are going to point. We get the eight and the two here. Uh, we get the seven up here. What's this pair? Uh, eight and nine, it looks like. So we know the order, nine and eight. That's not an eight. We get the three, we get the seven. We now have a three, eight pair here. So this is a single. Looks like a seven, and this is a single. Looks like a nine. All right, that's two, four, and nine. Wow, okay, I think we're collapsing now. That's a seven, two, five, and three. That's not a seven, okay. So we'll take a step back, figure out what we want to pencil next. Uh, four in this row is here. So four is here. Okay, let's pencil this column. We need a one. I'm just looking to see if it's restricted. Um, Five and eight. Okay, not helpful. Um, how about this column? We need a one, two. That's nice, the two. Okay, hold on. This two C's here and this two C's here. So two in this column goes there. And so now these need to be one, three, nine. No, not nine, eight, no. What did I miss? One, three, five is what we need. So this can't be the one or the three. So this is the five. That's not five, that's not five. We get the eight. These aren't eights. Oof. A little uncomfortable in my chair here. Um, what did I do here? Uh, da, 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 da. I think I just have to pencil more. This is four or six, okay. Um, this row needs one, four, five, and eight. So the eight can only go here in the row. This is four, five. So the one can only go here. That's a five. Uh, this is one, three, four, six. It's not a three. So one, four, six. Hmm. This box needs a four, five, and seven. I'm seeing that's not a five, so five's point. Not super useful. Threes, six, no. Ones, ones are in one of these two. Okay, so what about down here? This is interesting how it's just not, it's not collapsing until I pencil everything. Uh, we need one, three, Seven, eight. There we go. Here's a naked one. This sees the uh, the three, the seven, and the and the eight in the column. There we go. So that's a one. That places the one and the three. That places the eight, the four, and the three. Uh, for the box, we need a five. All right. We get the eight and the three. We get the four and the one, the seven and the three. That's five, seven, and four. That's a six, five, four, six, four, and then two and eight are left. And we're done. Wow. I don't know. I felt like I cracked that puzzle like two or three times before it actually cracked. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, I feel like I just got held up by a naked one right there for a little bit, but I'm I'm trying to remember what the important deductions were here. It really felt like just good application of basics to me. Um, I do remember being proud of a hidden single nine. I think it was in this row. 
because we had this nine, we had this nine, and I don't remember what else. Uh, maybe we already had this nine here. No, I'm, I don't remember the details, but I found a, a hidden single nine. I'm pretty sure it was this one, and that was pretty neat early on. Um, because I was scanning these digits and where they went in this row. And by the way, the answer is this goes there, this goes there, this goes there, and this goes there. There you go. <laughs> Found them. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.